All right, welcome guys. Today, we're gonna take a little journey and we're gonna go climb a bunch of stairs and we're gonna go see a temple in a cave. We're at Wat Ban Tang or something like that, which means like cave house. And we're gonna see like Kanchanaburi from up on top of the ridge and we're gonna take a look around. So let me show you, see what we see. So we're right down here at the bottom and as you can see right up there on the hill is a big dragon's head and we're going to go up in there. So this temple is called Wat Ban Tham or something like that and it means like a tunnel house. We're going to go up into a little cave up there and they have a Buddha and then you can go up on top of the hill and you can see the surrounding. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to climb up all of these steps. And if you want you can come here and you can clank the bell for luck and you can go up the steps this from there. The temple is built right into the ridge line. And there's a cave up there that houses the main Buddha. And in old days, this has kind of got a little bit of history to it. King Chula Longkorn came, King Rama V, he came and he stayed at the main part of the temple. There used to be some ruins out here. And there's also a famous battle, the Battle of the War Elephants, that happened right next to where this temple is currently situated. And it was between the Burmese and the Thais. The Burmese used to come right in through this area and they would attack into Thailand. And they, in the old days, they captured Ayutthaya, the old capital city. And it was under Burmese control for a long time. So when you climb up the first long set of stairs, come to a little platform here that has a little shrine, and then you continue up into the dragon's mouth. The dragon head is right here. So you have another set of stairs to go up into there. Here they painted the inside of the dragon head. So this the climb is a little bit. I mean it's doable, but it's not handicap accessible at all. And they painted little scenes of the story of the Buddha. All in there. Somebody clanking the bell for luck. So here's the end of the stairs. You have a little Buddha here. And coming out of the stairs, you have a platform. There's a nice view of the, the river and the valley. and the main temple complex down below. Looks like they have a pagoda over on this landing. So it looks like the pagoda is just under construction. They have the Chinese goddess here, some of the other stuff. Let's see what's up on the second floor. More stairs to climb. Okay, so up on the second floor, it looks like a little bit more is done. Definitely Chinese style. Got the jode sticks burning here. and then the shrine to the Chinese goddess. There's some more stuff there. So this part of the temple is really, really new. 
All right, let's go up into the cave now. All right, so right after you come out of the dragon's head, there's this set of stairs. You can go up into the cave. So this is the third group of stairs. It smells very musty in here. The other stairs to go up. We'll go up here after we look around at this first part of the cave. So some more stairs over there with another little statue. This cave is quite cavernous. The monk over here giving out the blessings. And the main part of the, the cave right here. Nice Buddha statue. Let's look around up the stairs on this side. So here we have a little shrine, the Chinese goddess. is opened up. Cave roof is open here. Okay, so here is the image they have. It's all in Thai, so I can't tell you what it's what it's about. Vegetation growing down. Kind of interesting to have the cave mouth. You come in the cave mouth and then you get up in here and part of the roof is open. You can still look down into the main part of the cave to the main Buddha statue. And then right above it, some birds. Okay, so after seeing that level of the temple, it's time to go up these stairs and see what's up above. And it's a pretty narrow little stairwell. into a spiral staircase and part of the ridge line that it's built into. See it's all cracked out. And then the top of the stairs. So if you're not one that wants to climb any stairs, don't come to this temple. This temple seems to be all stairs. So out of the regular stairs, now you have some stairs that are carved into the hill some uneven stairs. So part of the Buddhism religion is that going to church, which is what they do when they go to the temple, it's not supposed to be easy. There's supposed to be a little bit of hardship to it. Kind of reminds me climbing all these stairs. This is nothing compared to if you go to the Great Wall of China. There's temples built on the Great Wall of China and you have to climb up these mountains and then climb down to a temple to go pray and then to go back you have to climb back up the mountain and then back down the great wall of china <laughs> so it's never supposed to be just easy easy to go because there is supposed to be a little bit of suffering involved 
in life. I mean, life is suffering and you get to Nirvana and that's the end of suffering. All right, so a little bit more stairs. And then there's a shrine right here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so here's the shrine. It has some of the famous monks and then the Buddha statues in the different poses. And this has a pretty nice view of the valley. Okay, so we're almost to the top of the mountain. We'll go up this one more set of stairs and see what's up there. Should be a nice view from the top of this ridge line. And as you can see, this is December, so most of the leaves are down. Normally, like in the summer and the spring, this would be green and pretty. But December, the leaves have fallen off since it's so cold at, I don't know, 36 degrees Celsius, which is almost jacket weather, not at all. And some more stairs that are carved into the, the hill. They've formed them mostly out of concrete and the rocks that were already here. So if you're on this temple and you're climbing, just think you didn't have to carry the, the sand and the concrete up here to make these stairs or come up here to make this handrail. So you get, you're getting off a lot easier than the workers that built it. Okay, so apparently they have a place here. You can kind of rappel down into the cave itself. Okay, so let's take a look down inside this little cave here. Stairwell isn't too bad getting in here. We got it lit up to where you can see what's going on, which is nice. And the stalactites. And for anybody wondering if you can tell the difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite. The stalactites form at the top, thus the T, and stalagmites are the ones that the calcium and all that mineral deposit starts from the bottom and goes up. So they have a little shrine built in here. Nothing else, just kind of interesting to climb down into this cave. Not much else to see other than that. So back up these stairs and out. Okay, so here we are all the way to the top of the stairs. Oh, very nice to have a gold chetty over here. And on this side, looks like they have a statue of Brahma, the four-headed god. And then the Chinese goddess right here. And then looking up to the little ridge line. The surrounding country here. They have a monk here giving out blessings and Tying the little string onto everybody's hands. So he's sitting up on top of this mountain all day. Okay, so here's the Chetty. With the Naga Guardians. And they have the bells that you can ring. right up here to make merit. And it's on the top of this little ridge line. So let's look at the view from way up here. Tusk and all that in his hands. 
So it definitely has some Hindu inf influence. It has some Chinese influence and it has Thai influence. You have the three headed elephant on this side. I didn't notice that before, but you have the Erewhon, the three headed elephant, which in uh, the Hindus, it should have 33 heads, but they make it a little easier. So there is the three headed elephant, which is a Hindu, Hindu symbol. And then they have the cow, it's definitely Hindu. All right guys, so that finishes up our little tour of this temple. Pretty interesting, a lot of climbing. I'm sweating, seriously sweating. Anyway, a lot of climbing, but worth it to get up to the top, see the nice view of the valley, see the shrines and everything up along the way. And again, this is the, like the cave house. And so it has this main Buddha inside of the cave. And there's a lot more to this complex other than the main Buddha. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and share it with your friends. And if you wanna leave me a comment, like if you like this temple or if you've been here before, leave me a comment down below. And, or if you want to see something different, ask me a question and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to try to answer it the best I can. Or if you want to see something different, let me know. And anyway, guys, remember life is a journey. So enjoy. Mm -hmm.